Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Bobby with Tech360.tv and today we're talking about a smartwatch that has actually impressed me and I wasn't expecting it from a company I really never heard anything about. This is the Mobboy Tick Watch Pro. Now, I do want to put a disclaimer out. All these reviews that I'm doing are not paid by the company. These are my own thoughts. They provided me the watch to review. I told them non-biased opinions only. They agreed to it, so here we are. Okay, let's talk about the watch. The Tick Watch Pro is their latest smartwatch. They've had a few watches out prior to this, but they were sort of like half-baked smartwatches. This is a full-featured smartwatch running Wear OS. Now, the cool thing about this watch, though, that separates it from all the other watches on the market is that it doesn't have just one display. It has two. But before I get into all that, I want to talk to you about the design of this watch. I have it on my wrist right now. Let's take a look at it. Now, do you want to put, tell you right now this brown strap is my own. It's a 22 millimeter strap. You can put any strap you want on it. It actually comes with a black leather strap with a rubber underneath it. So you can actually wear it for activities, outdoor activities, and kind of sweat resistant on that regard. Now, the watch comes in two colors, all black or stainless steel and black. I chose the stainless steel and black because frankly, I have a lot of black smartwatches and also I like stainless steel. And the scuff marks, if you get them, don't show as bad as the black version of it. But let's take a look at it. First and foremost, it's got this black kind of plastic body to it. Personally, I feel they could have used maybe some higher quality materials for the black plastic, but teach their own. On top though, you have a stainless steel bezel. I wouldn't say it's the highest quality stainless steel you're gonna get into a luxury watch, but it does the job, it looks good. I love the dual colors on it. It works great with the brown strap that I have on it, and I have gotten a lot of compliments on the watch wearing it. What else about the design I have to tell you about? Now, the back side of it is pretty basic. They weren't really concentrating on the back too much, as you can tell by the design, but it does have the heart rate sensor on it, has the charging ports on it, and some information on the watch, so it is what it is. We don't look at the back of our watches that much, but if you are one that does, this could use some improvement. Besides that, though, it's a beautiful watch. The display actually makes a watch. I mean, look, we look at watch faces all the time. This is a beautiful AMOLED display on this. Rich colors, good blacks, very vibrant, quite sharp for a smart watch. 400 by 400, 287 PPI for you pixel peepers out there. Um, and it has a monochrome LCD display. Now, they call that the essential display. What that means is it's the essentials. Time, date, steps, and battery life. It looks like a 80s clock, you know, kind of those digital displays. Kind of cool, kind of retro, and it works. So let's talk about what's inside this. Now we're running on Google Wear OS. That's their Android sort of operating system for the watches. This runs on Android, of course, and on iOS. But disclaimer, you're not gonna get all the features on iOS that you would on Android, so keep that in mind. Now inside of this, you got the Snapdragon processor, 512 megabytes of RAM, four gigabytes of onboard storage. You've got the accelerometer, gyro, you've got GPS, heart rate sensor, off-body sensor. This is a full-featured smartwatch. Mavoy has done a terrific job putting all that into it. And decent battery. As a matter of fact, the battery on this watch is actually one of the best I've used on any smartwatch, minus Garmin. But of course, that's in a different ball game altogether and a different price point altogether. But yeah, getting back to the insides of this, I have to say that it runs smooth, the screen looks great. I do wish it was a little bit faster. They maybe could have put a little bit of a faster processor in this. It's not gonna kill your experience using the watch, but you will notice slight lag in using it. Also, in terms of durability, I do wanna let you know this is an IP68 rated watch, so you can get into the water. I wouldn't go deep sea diving with it, but you can get in the water with it. You can wash your hands with it. You can sweat in it. It's going to be okay. Also, a thing I like about the watch, because any smart watch, you need to charge it. You need to charge the watch. Most of them have this little white hockey puck that you put on the back of the watch, and it's not the most secure thing out there. Mavoy has done a great job with their docking system on this watch. It clicks in, it's secure, and it charges well. I really like what they did with it. It's probably one of my most favorite features in terms of accessories Mavoy has done on the watch, and I think more companies should do that because that little hockey puck thing doesn't work, or it falls off, or it slips off, or you don't know what side to put it on. Trust me, this is a much better way to charge watches. Okay, let's talk about battery life on this watch, right? Because people talk about, hey, it's got, you see on the website, up to five to 30 days of battery life. How is it in real life? Well, the reason they say 30 days of battery life is because the essential display. You could keep this watch basically an essential display on it, and you could get up to 30 days because it's basically just a digital clock. However, if you go by default, you don't change anything on the watch, 
Me personally, I've gotten around five days of usage out of it. What happens is Wear OS runs out of battery after day two, but the essential display, the black and white LCD display, stays on for the remaining days. So it's essentially a watch. I mean, I don't get any notifications, I don't get anything out of it, it doesn't sync to my phone, but I still can tell time with it. So my overall thoughts on the watch are 249 US dollars, decent price for a watch with this kind of feature set in it. I do wish the materials were a slightly better quality for calling it a premium watch. It looks great, but I feel Mavoy could have improved on it a little bit, but no complaints, it works as described. Love the two displays on it, love the fact I can change straps on it. The black strap that comes with it with the rubber underneath it and the leather on top is a great way to do it. it makes it more sport active wise and you can run with it, jog with it and it can still look good if you want to go out to dinner with the watch. And it's in a, it's in a watch market that's really competitive and I think Mavoy has uh, created their own little uh, segment in there with a dual display. I think it's a smart way to do it. Those are my thoughts on the Mavoy Tick Watch Pro. What are your thoughts on the watch? Leave your comments in the section below. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook. Until the next one, take care.